It's locked. <coughs> oh, don't worry. It isn't COVID. I got a strange case of the Nancy Drew flu. It's highly contagious. Are you ready to catch a case? <laughs> Nancy Drew, Travis J. Space. <laughs> Welcome to New York, Nancy. For the past month, my co-star, Rick Arlen, has been getting these awful death threats. It's up to you, is Nancy true? Howdy, folks. Welcome to Travi J's Space, here on YouTube. And welcome back to another fabulous episode of Nancy Drew. Stay tuned for danger. And we're staying tuned, all right. I mean, there's already been some danger, so... Sure, certainly we'll have to stay tuned for more. I'm sure there's more coming. Yeah. Well... Um, hmm. where to begin? The last episode was filled with some incriminating evidence. Um, not against particular people, however, <clears throat> just a lot of interesting threats that we found in many kind of variations, um, both written and in physical, uh, poisonous chocolates that told Rick to die and the teleprompter was hacked. It basically said the end of his life is near. He was almost killed by a dropping stage light above his head. Absolutely crazy. So, I mean, there's a lot going on and uh, we need to watch where we go and what we're doing <laughs> because uh, things are getting dicey here. So, yeah, well, Let's not waste any time, though. We need to jump right into this. No more me dilly-dallying and chatting up a storm, you know? We gotta get... We, we gotta... We gotta start digging for clues, Clue Crew. Oh, and I didn't clean this. I was gonna clean this. <laughs> okay. Let me set the timer first. There we go. Ding! Alright, so, do you have your tea? or your alternative beverage of whatever variation. I've got my tea right here. Cheers. Do you have a blanket? Do you even need a blanket? I mean, I, for one, do not need a blanket. So it's not a big deal for me because I'm always warm inside and out. But if you have your blanket, that's good news. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, the most important question though, each and every episode, is are you comfy? Are you cozy? You snug? You're on the couch all curled up? Or maybe in bed, also curled up? <laughs> well, good. As long as you are, then we can carry on. Okay? All right, comfy check, cozy check. Very good. All right, let's jump in, folks. Clue crew. So we need to go to Lillian Weiss, or I Taxi! Feel... Where can I take you today, miss? <laughs> 1999 Broadway, please. When can I take you? Uh, I think we need to go talk to, oh, we have to sign Can in. I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Aww. Thank you, you may proceed. Oh, we have to sign? Oh, cool, okay. Uh. Yeah. Ah, I see Maddie's friend is now working as an extra for us. Yes. So, are you trying to get discovered, or are you just hard up for a job? Well, maybe I could replace your job, because you don't seem to like being here very much. <laughs> Dwayne Powers HDR is really good. Idea. I'm just excited to start working with an experienced crew. You know, so much different than community theater. <laughs> I'm just excited to start working with an experienced crew. You know, it's so much different than community theater. Ugh, don't knock yourself out, kid. <laughs> You'll be on standby until we know when and if we'll need you. Okay. Just trying to put out my lights. Well, I'll let you get back to your business. Gee, thanks. Goodbye. Oh! oh! 
Oh, wow, she is rude. What a it's rude. Open. <laughs> yes, it's my open. dear. How can I enter the prop room? Hi, how can I enter the prop room? I see. Well, I don't just let anyone enter my prop room without showing me <laughs> that they're clever enough to take on the responsibility. Listen to my riddle, and when you know the correct answer, I'll let you in. I Yay! run okay. all day and never walk. I tell you something, but I do not talk. What am I? What am I? I run all day and never walk. I t oh, a clock. A clock. Very good. Hey! Let's see if you can answer one more. <laughs> okay. Soft is a petal that falls from a tree. The more I dry, the wetter I'll be. What am I? Soft as a petal that falls from a tree. The more I dry, the wetter I'll be. A leaf? Nope. Try oh. again. Soft as a petal that falls from a tree. The more I dry, the wetter I'll be. What am I? Soft as a petal that falls from a tree. The more I dry, the wetter I'll be. Oh, wow. Uh, this one's hard. Soft as a petal that falls from a tree. The more I dry, the wetter I'll be. Wine? Nope. <laughs> Try again. Soft as a petal that falls from a tree. The more I dry, the wetter I'll be. What am I? Soft as a petal that falls from a tree. So it's very soft. And as it dries, it gets more wet. That's difficult. <laughs> I'm in a daze here. It's soft. Okay, I think I have to skip that one. I for give now. up. I don't know. Come back when you found the answer. Oh. Good day, my dear. Goodbye, Millie. Dang. Still not able to get in there. Okay. Soft as a petal. Soft as a petal. Oh, we can go over here. <gasps> oh, ho, ho, ho. We missed this. Can we take some tools? Okay. Is that all? Or can we take more? <laughs> we always want more. the code for over here or over yeah up here it's locked like what does any of that mean I wonder huh I'm not sure okay let's Let's go talk to Maddie. See what she has. It's to open. Say. Hi, Nancy. Glad to see Dwayne could get you a job as an extra. Yes. Who knows? Maybe you'll be the next Serena Livingston. Oh. Well. Yeah, right. <laughs> like we could ever do as good as you. As if. I'm lucky if I can remember my stage left from my stage right. <laughs> Dwayne was very helpful. I can't believe he got me a part, just like that. Dwayne's a great guy. He gave me a chance when no one in this town would even give me the time of day. Aww. That's really sweet. Yeah, I don't think Dwayne likes Rick very much. <laughs> I don't think Dwayne likes Rick very much. Actually, the feeling's mutual. Dwayne oh. was Rick's agent and helped him get the part of Rory Danner. But later on, Rick ditched him to go with a larger agency. I guess to help him get out of his contract here. Oh, wow. Oh, that, oof, that seems like a 
big burn there. Well, Great I'll see guy. you later, Maddie. Bye, Nancy. Bye. <laughs> She's so happy to be here. She's got an actress's uh, smile. Rick. He's not there. Aww. Who's this door? <gasps> Who are the other celebrities around here? And I guess we don't have a to-do list. Ah, <sighs> soft as a petal. Hmm. It's open! <sighs> I see you've come back to try and solve my riddle. It's more difficult than you thought. Huh? Now, it is. listen carefully. Soft as a petal that falls from a tree. The more I dry, the wetter I'll be. What am I? The more I dry. Soft. Silk? Nope. No. Try again. Soft as a petal <laughs> that falls from a tree. The more I dry, the wetter I'll be. What am I? Lotion? Nope. No. Try again. Soft as a petal <sighs> that falls from a tree. The more I dry, the wetter I'll be. What am I? I, I give up. I don't know. Yeah. Come back when you found the answer. Good day, my dear. <laughs> oh, I wish. Oh. Well, then let's go back to the house and call. Uh, Hey, taxi! Call Where someone door for lady. 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! On my way! It's locked. Oh, of course. Alright, why don't we call Bess? You've reached Bess Marvin. I can't come to the oh. phone right now, but please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Dang. Okay, well, I guess it's George then. I'm pretty sure George will be around. If not, we'll just call our trusty Ned, Mr. Nickerson. Fane residence. Hi, George. It's hey. Nancy. Nancy, how are you? Are you still in Florida? Did you ever solve that case you were working on? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm in New York right now on another case. Get this. Rick Arlen from Light of Our Love is getting these scary death threats. You're kidding. Don't tell Bess that. She'll want to fly out there and save him. She absolutely adores Rick Arlen. <sighs> so, have you met any of those other daytime superstars? Uh, yes. Well, I have met Maddie Jensen. In fact, I'm staying with her. She's a friend of Aunt Eloise. Really? I like Maddie Jensen. <laughs> is she as nice in real life as she is on screen? Absolutely. I always heard soap stars can be a bit temperamental. I wouldn't call her temperamental, but no, she is no, very no, upset no. about these threats. Hmm. I, I wonder too. if she has a thing for Rick. So. What have you found out so far? They did have a thing. <laughs> uh, Rick was yeah. almost killed by a falling Klieg light. Oh my gosh! Is he alright? Was it an accident? Oh, he's okay, but... He's okay, but it barely missed him. Yeah. Have you searched the area? Maybe the light was sabotaged to fall. Oh, I wonder if the screwdriver will loosen the wheel. I'm officially an extra on the set, but there's not much to do. Not much to do? 
I bet it'd take you weeks to discover all of the nooks and crannies in that studio. Who knows? Maybe you'll stumble upon some hidden passageways. TV studios are always full of them. Is that right? Oh, wow. Are you any good at riddles? No, I just throw in the towel when riddles come up. The more I dry, the wetter I'll be. A towel. What do you mean? Nancy, you know that I'm not very good at riddles when I'm up against the clock. Oh, there's the answers. Clock, towel. <laughs> do you really think so? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Mirror. Who's the worst at riddles counting them all? George Fane, that's who. Talk to you later. Good George, luck and be careful. You just answered all of our questions. Yay! <laughs> oh, Taxi! We, we were given Where that can one. I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Cool. Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You may proceed. All right, let's go answer those riddles. Towel and mirror. It's open! <laughs> I see you've come back to try and solve my riddle. Yes, I it's have. It's more difficult than you thought, huh? Now, listen carefully. Soft as a petal that falls from a tree. The more I dry, the wetter I'll be. What am I? A towel. Very good. Let's see if you can answer one more. One more. When you look at my face, it's easy to see. You're looking at you when you're looking at me. What am I? I would have got that one, even if George hadn't said anything. That's it. <laughs> I have stumped many people with my riddles, but you are quite the sleuth. You may go and enter the prop room now, while I go and unpowder my nose. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Okay. Look at this. No one is permitted in the prop room at any time except for those people permitted in the prop room. <laughs> All props must be signed out with the prop authorization from the prop master. Anyone found in the prop room without the proper authorization will relinquish any or all prop room privileges. Whoa. Okay. Very serious. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Ugh. The key to a mystery is revealed by the wise when the bell sounds its toll and the moon makes its rise. Huh. Ooh, what's in this box? <gasps> Beautiful jewelry. Wow. Very beautiful jewelry. Um, what else? Oh, that's the same spot. Oh, can we play a song? No. No. Oh, well. Oh, another section. Oh. Oh, we can't turn on the radio. Oh, I think I know what to do with the the screwdriver we can uh with the screwdriver we can um fix the clock remember nancy said <laughs> i should really fix this or wind up this clock there's something like that look at this would you, would you look at that look at this boat read it nan c drew just ba backwards that is hilarious Oh, they're so clever with the Easter eggs. Whoa. Cheaper. It's just kind of scary looking. Okay. Hmm. What's up here? Oh, mystery in the air. Oh, yes. Okay. That's the one that's in the... Uh, in the... Uh... Oh, dear. On set. Yeah. What's over there? Oh, do not cross. Oh boy. That's not good. Alright, what's in here? Oops. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I know this game. <laughs> I love this game. In the center, and then over here, oops, over here, and then over here, 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 
and here and here and here and here oh oh this is for the clock oh so maybe we don't need the screwdriver for the clock the key will unhide huh very cool all right well well that was easy oh a bag of doorknobs oh and we took one very interesting when will we need a doorknob <laughs> this bagpipe <laughs> Aw, poor saddled bagpipe. What's back here? Wow. Lots of goodies. <gasps> A crossword. One across, discovered, found. Can we? Oh, I wish you could type it in. Found. Death threat. What? Threats. Lost. Wraith, watch, clock, bomb, broken, clue, lock, key. Oh my gosh. What's four down? Use caution. Beware. Trick. Six across. Trap. Oh my gosh. How eerie that that's just sitting there. Very eerie indeed. Oh my goodness. A skull. Big old fishing helmet. Or diving helmet. Oh, little cuckoo claw. Or <laughs> birdhouse. Oh, wow. oh, very creepy. A set of old keys. Huh. What was this? Oh, a journal! Aww. These are probably old actors and actresses from the studio. Hmm. Very cool. I do like the music. It's very pleasant. <laughs> Ooh. Prop room log book. Oh, let's see. Another code! 13, 14, 25. Huh. That's very interesting. And I keep shutting this book by accident. Let's look here. Leather photo album, lottery ticket, bouquet of flowers, passports, assorted seashells. <gasps> What's this? Proper missing items. Fake beard and mustache. Black. Oh. Spirit gum adhesive, one bottle. Maracas, 3D glasses, alarm clock, hacksaw, letter opener, and a tape recorder. Huh. See Pat Ng's email about this. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Why would someone want to steal from the proper? The typewriter drops its Y. after suffering a concussion from a falling rat and Rory oh oh Rory Danner's accidentally poisoned oh this is very suspicious because the threatening letter the one set anyways of threatening letters that Rick got has dropped wise oh wow there's some letters that are Hmm. Oh. E-R-T-A-C. That's very interesting. Well, we shall carry on here. 444! Angel number! Angel number! Oopsie. I'm back way up. Oh my. Look at all these props. These are so cool. I keep thinking maybe they're like antiques or something. Maybe some of them might be antique props. <gasps> Figure skater. That's a cute bag. And an oil can. Ugh! Ugh! 
I guess it's a matter of time before we saw Spider up in this old dusty musty. We have been sailing for over three weeks now. Oh, who's this? Huh. Interesting. I think that's Miss Millie's diary. Uh, okay. Now, oh, we can look over here, too? Cool. Okay. Oh, I want a laptop just like that. So badly. Ooh. What's in the mailbox? Oh, a letter. Oh, that's odd. From Pine Hill Foundation. Oh, annual celebrity auction. Uh, asking for her money. Another year running. <laughs> I guess we can't look up there. Or, oh. In here? No? Okay, alright. And this area, I guess, is off limits. I guess we'd have to ask Millie why. why it's off limits. And there's so much up there I'd like to see, but the stairs are broken. Hmm. Alright. Well, now there's a bunch of things we can do. First of all, we can drop that ladder in the on the set. <clears throat> we can drop that ladder and uh, get up there and see what's going on. Not filming today, I see. I need something to make this work. Well, that was weird. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, here we go. Here's some oil. <laughs> Here we go. <gasps> Scary. Spooky up here. Oh, it's even, yeah, it's even scarier up here. Cheapers. What the heck? Huh. Someone was wearing plaid when they did this. It looks like they loosened that one, too. Is that it? There's nothing else to see here. Understand. Okay, well, good thing we weren't caught, anyways. <laughs> oh, very interesting and peculiar, I must say. Oh, what's this? Oh, the camera's looking at the clock. Why? That's really weird. That's just kind of random, actually. Well, we do have the second hand. Should set the clock. How, how do you do that, honey? I should set the clock. I'm not sure how you're gonna do that. Do we need a device? A screw? Oh, a screw. Oh. I should set the clock. With a screwdriver. I should set the clock. Huh? I should set the clock. How? Interesting. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. How do we set the clock? I wonder. Yeah, that's very peculiar. back over there. So, what? Huh. 
We have the pills. But how in the heck? Oh no. They're closed. I wonder if we can go in Rick Arlen's room now. It's probably not locked. It's open! Oh, Maddie's still here? Wait, what time Have you found there? anything out yet? No, not yet. Yeah, Sorry. I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. <laughs> Service with a smile. Uh, <laughs> it's a quarter after six. Okay. No, Rick. Well, you know what? <laughs> I'd like to just break into that room right now. Huh. This is all so peculiar. I mean, this clock. It's you again. What do you uh, want? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry for bothering you. I'll leave right away. You do that. Oh, you do that. Jeez. Oh. <gasps> I need something to make this work. Oh. That's so interesting. So she, she <laughs> that's how she locks the prop room, I guess. She takes the door handle right off. Oh, that's funny. Mm. Now, wasn't there another clock in here? Perhaps another radio that I can remember. Maybe not. Um, there's a clock. I don't know though. I don't know what it's ex what is expected of me. When it comes to, yeah, that clock. Um, hmm. Okay. Alright. Well, let's fiddle around with it a little more. I need something to make this work. Duh. I need something to make this work. You have something to make this work. <laughs> that must be just one of the glitches. I was waiting for... A little glitch or something or other. Like, we haven't been able to grab anything over here at all. Hmm. Yeah. And we can't go in that camera. This dang clock. I should set the clock. I should set the clock. But then we put this on. Ugh. But then what? Something else I sh should be clicking? No. Very peculiar indeed. Um. I should set the clock. 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 <laughs> give us an option, does it? Alright. Okay, well. I guess we're, we'll just have to call it a day. And get the heck out of here. Wait a minute. No? Can't sneak our way in there? I wonder if we can sneak our way into the front door and check out the security cameras. Still no Rick. We have like three different ways we could get into. Okay. It's locked. Uh, oh, of course. Wait, 1999? Oh. It's locked. It's locked. We don't know the code. It's 
get out of here. Time hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, Avenue, please. On my way! Uh, it's locked. On my way! Oh, she's still at work. What time is it? Oh, it's supposed seven. Quarter after seven. Huh. Yeah, there really isn't much here. So we are going to... Ah, good morning. Oh, still no Maddie. Okay. Well, let's talk Taxi. to Dwayne. Yeah, what's the address? 318 West yeah, 10th Street, Yeah, what's the address? Please. You got it. It's locked. Oh, of course. Oh, so loud. What the heck? You ain't working today? Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 <laughs> Broadway, please. Where can I take you today, miss? Alright. Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You may proceed. Now, let's go talk to that Millie. I feel like Millie will have more answers for us. It's open! And more Hello, questions for young Millie. Lady. Uh, must be wonderful to work with Rick Arlen. Is he really that exciting in real it life? It must be wonderful to work with Rick Arlen. Is she like, really that exciting in real life as he is on stage? Who? Rick Arlen? Uh, I've never heard of him. You don't mean Rory Danner, do you, dear? <laughs> he's a no good, good for nothing, do nothing, if you ask me. Oh, he's been a troublemaker ever since he's got here. <laughs> what that man needs is a good, swift kick and a you know what? <laughs> oh, of course, doing all that grief with his scampering around. I should get oh. back to the set. Goodbye. Don't take any wooden nickels, young lady. lady. <laughs> Should we get back to the set though? Was that like a heads up to us? Hmm. I need something to make this work. You have something to make it work. Oh, we still have the oil. Maybe we need the oil on. Uh, it's probably stuck. Okay. And then we get our oil. Oh, for Pete's I sake. should set the clock. Really? I thought... Oh! Oh, we can put it in different directions. I should set the clock. Okay, how about... Oh, here we go! <gasps> A key. Can we use this key? <gasps> the prop room, maybe? I mean, it's pretty early, isn't it? Yeah, so she's gonna be there all day. But I wonder if this opens the lock. It's open! Hello, room. young lady. I should get back to the set. Goodbye. Have a good day! Oh, uh, we can't go around in there when she's there. Oh. Okay. All right, well, let's talk to uh, Maddie. It's open. See if she, she has anything new to talk Have to. Have you me. found anything out yet? No, so sorry. No, not yet. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. Always with your learning your lines. She's a dedicated little actress. And this man right here. Okay, so no options. And we need to know the code to the back door. Huh. I wonder if maybe the security guy... Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You may proceed. <laughs> He's already seen us today. <laughs> 
Okay, well this is a bit fishy. It's you again. What do you want? Oh, I'm sorry for bothering you. My bad. I think right it's away. something new to you say. You do that. Forgive me for thinking you might want to have a chat. <laughs> Very peculiar. Okay, so there's really no way we can wait until late. So let's just get out of here and. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, Avenue, please. On my way! On my way! What does this open? I'm pretty sure it's the prop room thing, but... But is there anywhere on here that tells us... No, about the back door... Oh, what is this? <gasps> Uh, what? Dear Rick, there's so much that I want to tell you and confide in you, but I don't, I'm afraid of where this would lead. I am truly in love with you, but how can I be sure that you feel the same way? I think we both know the answer, but I think you refuse to admit it. You refuse to admit that you are truly in love with me, and I think that makes you Afraid, afraid of the commitment this would mean. Who, why must you continue playing the part of the confirmed bachelor, constantly looking for another date? We both know you're not happy with this part, but you still play it. You still play the incurable romantic when all you really want in a lifetime of love is a lifetime of love. I'm ready for this commitment. Oh, I can't believe we missed that. That's so sad. It's locked. Oh, is this the key? It's locked. Oh. oh, this side opens too. Oh, the rose is thought of love divine. Oh, be thou my valentine. Dearest Maddie, my love, my one and only, mi amore. You are the sparkle in my eye, the song in my heart. The woman of my dreams, when I hear your soft voice fill in the air, it sounds like a chorus of angels. A sound that I am missing right now as I write this. My life is darkened and full of despair without you. I cannot bear the thought of separating from you for more than a second. How I miss the warmth of your smile, the way the light shines through your hair and your eyes. I could gaze into those twin pools of beauty forever. Nothing more would give me such pleasure. I will sadly count the hours until our next endeavor. Rendezvous. Until then, sign me in love, Rick. Oh, what a romantic man. No words that even the greatest of poets could render with pen and paper could do any justice to describe my love for you. I truly cannot imagine what life had been before I met you. But what I can imagine is a lifetime of love with you. A lifetime of stolen kisses, cherished sweet nothings, and your warm laughter that fills my soul with joy. Will you be mine, Maddie? That is all I ask. Your hand and your heart and nothing more. Forever yours, Rick. Is this a marriage proposal? Huh. How very peculiar. Well, now we've seen it all. I'm certain. And we read this. Been in there. I just want to triple check because I almost feel like I'm missing something, you know? Perhaps something I just haven't picked up on yet. Oh. <laughs> These are some big steps she's taking. Nancy. Um, yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't see anything new. Well, gosh darn it. And we don't know the code. Maybe we need a hint. Seven. I love here to dial it. Hello. Yes, 
what? Uh. Maddie helped me land a job as an extra through her agent, Dwayne. I guess he places a lot of actors. My girlfriend, the soap opera star. <laughs> now you'll never come back home. Hmm. I bet if you contact some of Dwayne's other employees, they might have some information related to the case. So, what else can I help you out with? What if we break into Dwayne's... Oh... What if we break into Daryl's office? Um... Oh yeah, look at all this. I finally met THE Rick Arlen. That man has an ego the size of Texas. He's worse than Daryl Gray. I'm not <laughs> sure I like you jet-setting across the country meeting all of these Enrico Suaves. So, are these threats he's been getting serious? Yeah... The threats are, but Rick's not. He's pretty nonchalant about yeah. them. Huh, that's odd. Maybe there's more to the threats than he's saying. There might be some information in them that he doesn't want you to know about. So, oh. what else can I help you out with? Oh, Ned, you are really good here. You are right. That's a smart There's thought. a locked area of the prop room. Too bad he's not here with us. The prop master is hiding there. If it's locked, it must be important. She may want you to answer some kind of puzzle to get in. But maybe there's another way mm. to get past the gate. You'll find a way. So, uh -huh. what else can I help you out with? Like a key... I think I got the key. I think that's what he was alluding to. I'd like to get into the studio at night, but it's locked. Yeah, yeah. Any ideas? I bet there's another way in. Maybe there's a side entrance. So, what else can I help you well, out there with? there is, but we don't know. Oh, yes, yes. I found a side <laughs> okay. entrance to the studio, but there's Step a one. keypad Step lock two. on it. Nancy, I know you can get that combination. But no one will give it to you without a good reason. So, what else can I help you out with? Huh. I think that's it for now. I miss you. I miss you too. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright. So, basically he's saying that... Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? No one would 1999 give it to us Broadway, it. please. Without a reason. Actually, wait, Dwayne. Taxi! Yeah, what's the address? 318 West yeah, 10th Street, what's please. what's the address? You got it. <laughs> Let's break in here. It's locked. Oh, I thought we might be able. I thought we might be able to. But... It's locked. Oh, all right. Taxi! Off to Broadway. Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. <gasps> oh, lordy. Oh, okay, yes. Can yes. I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You may proceed. <laughs> As if he doesn't know Nancy by now. Come on. Let's ask Lillian Weiss. I know she'll probably say no, but... It's you again. Oh. What do you want? Oh, I'm sorry Forget for it. bothering you. I'll <laughs> leave right away. You do that. You do that. It's oh. open! Rude. Hello, young lady. Oh, nothing. I should get back there to the set. Either. Goodbye. Oh. Have a good day. Have a good day. <laughs> oh, it's creepy. I swear I just saw a shadow over my right shoulder. It's open. She's here. Have again. you found anything out yet? No, not yet. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. Why won't you let me chill in there with you? And Rick's still not around. Something ain't right here. Something is very fishy. There is cameras. Remember I was mentioning that maybe we might be able to to get in or to check out the security. It's a five digit. Five, two, zero, three. Two, six, eight, three, nine. One. Two, nine, three, seven, five, ten. Start. Oh. Where might we find the code? So curious. I 
wonder if it's... I wonder if it's on Millie's... I'm just looking for numbers anyway. Uh, or can we check your security? Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You may proceed. I don't think it was on... Yeah, I don't think it was anywhere in their rooms either. Like, part of me wants to find some flower and do it that way. Um, yeah, I guess... I guess we're kind of AWOL there. What are some numbers we can think of? Hmm. Maybe there's something I overlooked in here. What time is the clock at? Eleven oh five. Eleven oh five. Let's try. Let's try that. Quite a long shot, but. Eleven oh five. Oh, but it's single number. Huh. Hey, I wonder... taxi! Where to, lady? Seventy-two twenty-six Lexington Avenue, please. On my way. I'm wondering if oh seven no C double digits, so it's a single digit. I wonder if it's numbers on the script. Still triple ones. Oh, how discouraging. November 13th. Okay, let's see, more ones. That's three ones. Eye on the flower, though, that's really creepy. Wait. 9321. Do you see that? How those numbers? There are those little dots next to the number. 9321. All right, let's give that a shot. Very interesting. And what does that mean anyways? I am the flower. Is there... Oh, these are flowers. There's something in here I'm not seeing with my eyes. No, I guess not. Okay. That could be it. I mean, it's it's worth, again, worth a shot. That's all we got right now. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? Where can I take you today, miss? Alright. It looks like it's starting to get darker. Nine three two one. Ah, uh, rats. Rats. Pound nine three two one. Nope, no, nope, doesn't even register. It's locked. <sighs> what can I say? Actually, can I help you? Yes. Yes. Hello. Here's my pass. Let's try to Hello, get Ms. back into Millie's. Thank you. Proper you may proceed. While this shuts down, the moment this shuts down, we're in luck. It's only one o'clock, though. <sighs> what do we have to do? Oh. Oh. So are we supposed to just wait around here all day? How do we, how do we speed time up? I'd like to get in there. <laughs> there to be something interesting in there. Grr, time is just not moving. 
Because I think we actually need to wait <laughs> until it's late. Ugh. Hmm. Well, one thing I can s say is that Rick not being in his room is very agitating. We've only been able to talk to him one time. One time. Said. I need something to make this work. <laughs> Maybe I missed something here. Nothing was seen here. <gasps> oh, what if this opens this? Oh my goodness gracious. Are you kidding me? Number here, you can't even read this. Hmm. There's nothing in this shelf. Nothing going on here. Okay, so I need to find the key for this. So this isn't for the problem then. Only certain ones can move at certain times. So we gotta get all three of them to the end, I guess? Huh? Peculiar, and I can't read what this is. Hmm. Now that one won't move. Only at certain points can each one move. Oh, there we go! Right, okay, so that's gotta go back. And there we go. <gasps> now what the heck was that all about? It wouldn't let me. Now I forget. <laughs> oh. What is that? Did you guys see that? Why is that a thing? Why can't I? That's very bizarre. That is very, very, very <sighs> extremely bizarre and discouraging. Maybe it's not. I'm not supposed to do that yet? Unless what it's saying. Yeah. What the heck? I really would like to know what that's all about. Because... <laughs> I mean, not like it's gonna give us a code. What time is it now? It's only two o'clock. Oh my goodness. Huh. Over there. Nothing over here. Nothing. 
one over there. <laughs> and then there's this thing, which I don't understand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, I guess. It's six. It's locked. Huh. Very sus. We're, we're moving quite slow here. Oh. And we're out of time. speed up time. I mean, we can't visit Taxi. Wayne. Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You got it. What if we call him instead? It's locked. Nope. All right, let's call him. Five, two, one, two. And then we'll call Ned and see what he says. I just don't like that when I got the puzzle completed, it was. Hey, taxi! Itself. Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! Like, I don't it's know locked. if that's because I'm not supposed to do anything with that yet. Or what? <laughs> uh, 212. Two nine. Huh? We're sorry. We're sorry. The call you completed. <coughs> Pardon me. Five five five. Two nine zero zero. There we go. Powers Agency. How may I oh, help you? Finally. Hi, Mr. Powers. It's Nancy Drew. Yes, Miss Drew. What can I do for you? <laughs> Miss Drew, what can I do for you? Oh, we got Have a lot of questions here. Have you at Worldwide? She seems rather strange. Yes, I've met Millie once or twice. She's very eccentric. Mm -hmm. Actually owns a studio. But chooses to stay locked up in that prop room of hers. Huh. Rumor has it that she's trying to write Rick Arlen out of the show. I'm pretty sure that's what he wants, though, isn't it? I'm afraid that I'm not making a very good impression on Lillian. She doesn't seem to like me very much. I don't see why she would. Lillian is very professional, though I think she doesn't care for Maddie very much. Oh. Huh. She says. What should I do about this? Just make a good impression. Remember, you're representing me when you're worldwide. Uh, do you know how I could get into the control room? Do you know room? how I can get into the control room at the studio? Are you interested in stage managing? I'd be happy to talk to you about this subject. I used to be quite a whiz at it myself. Lillian has the entrance code, but I see no reason why you'd need to get up there. Well, little do you know. Can I get a pass that yes. lets me get into the studio during the night? Not unless Lillian is shooting a scene at night. That entry code is confidential for obvious reasons. If you ever have a valid reason for getting in, I could, of course, give you the code. A valid reason? Well, that's the second time a valid reason has been mentioned. What do you make of these threats against Rick? Maddie's very concerned about them. I don't believe them. Rick was always known for his odd sense of humor and practical jokes. Unfortunately, Maddie always fell for them, just like she's doing now. The producer seems pretty upset lately. He's always yelling. Oh, he's just blowing off steam. Rick's recent threats about leaving the show have put an undue amount of pressure on him. Upper management seems to fear that the ratings will fall if Rick leaves. Although I really can't picture that since Maddie is the real star of Light of Our Love. Well, I should get back to the set. Thanks for your help. Seems Feel free to contact again. me if you need additional assistance. Goodbye. Okay. 
Hold up a second. Hold up. So it sounds like we need to get to Lillian Weiss, but we need a reason. What's a reason? I could say I left my keys, but I can't leave my keys. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Let's try talking again. I mean, it is, it is slowly getting later out. Can I help you? Hello. Here's Hello. my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. <laughs> Thank you. You may proceed. Again. Lillian. It's you again. Oh! What do you want? Oh, I'm sorry for bothering you. I'll leave right away. You do that. You do that. All right, well. Uh, uh, hey, taxi! Let's go, Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! Okay. I don't know. I don't know what to think here. The situation is quite. It's locked. Particular. Like, I don't understand. Am I. Could we just make something up? Ned Nickerson. He says something about a valid reason. Hello? Hi, it's me! Hi! How's it going? Is this it? Well, I'm getting along so far. Okay, I'll let you get back to your sleuthing. What the Be heck? careful. I love you. Okay. Sorry about that. I just had a phone call there. So I had to step away from the phone. <laughs> well, st <laughs> I had to step away from this phone and jump on that phone. Uh, okay, so. What time is it? It's still 4 o'clock. So weren't we gonna call? No, nobody's giving us the time of day. Let's try George. Fane residence. Hi, George. Hey, Nancy. What's new on the case? Oh, here we go. Is it just talk to you later? Oh my goodness. I'm not sure what to do I'm next. not sure what I should do next. Find Rick Arlen. He's bound to have some important information on the case. I'm sure his dressing room is somewhere in the studio. Yeah, but he ain't there. <laughs> Talk to you later. Good luck and be careful. Right? I don't think. We'll try again, but I don't think he's there. This is Bess. Hi, Bess. It's oh, Nancy. Yay. Nancy, tell me everything. Did you get Rick's autograph for me? He's so <laughs> gorgeous. It must be so exciting to be on the set with all those stars. George filled me in on everything that's happened, so tell me who the suspects are. I can't believe someone would do this to Rick. Yeah, it's really kind of odd, but he is a superstar. You know, it just might be Rick who's behind these threats. <sighs> no way, oh. Nancy. Why would he send death threats to himself? <laughs> Get real. Well, maybe. Maybe it's, it's a cover-up, cover and he's trying to blame someone else. Mm. But Rick's not like that. He always seems so caring. On the other hand, his character isn't all that nice. Do you think some psycho fan who's confused reality with fiction could be doing this? No, I'm convinced it's an inside job. Well, that narrows down your list of suspects then. So, who are the other suspects? Well... There's... gosh. Oh, let's bring up Dwayne. My agent, Dwayne Powers, is pretty cool. But let's just say he's not one of Rick's yeah, number one fans. Never not. heard of him. It's so funny to hear you say my agent. So how did you hook up with him? Well... He's Maddie's agent and her good friend. He yeah. pulled some strings so I could work as an extra to continue with my investigation. Wow, how exciting! <laughs> so are there any other openings? I'll work for free! <laughs> so, who are the other suspects? Uh, well... Let's 
Let's see. Uh, There's this odd woman who's the prop er, master. <laughs> that that must be Millie Strathorn. Yeah. Did you know hey. she owns the entire network and it's worth millions? She's a total cat lover. Yes. I heard she treats her cats like royalty. Gosh, you know so a lot. So who are the other suspects? Uh, well, Maddie's really nice. Maddie is really nice, but, but can't I can't rule her out. Oh my gosh, wouldn't it be weird if Maddie was behind it all? What if Maddie really had a secret motive to get rid of Rick, like Marlena on Crimson Cove last year? Huh. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so, Bess. Real life isn't a soap opera, you know. So, <laughs> who are the other suspects? Well, um... The producer doesn't producer. exactly like Rick, but I've yet to meet him in person. Who's the producer now? Is it William Pappas? Worldwide yes. just hired him like six yes, months ago is. to improve their ratings. Crimson Cove is really beating Light of Our Love. Oh, There's Lillian. the director, oh. Lillian Weiss, who's not a very happy camper. Oh, yeah. Oh. Chatter Magazine had a whole spread on their breakup at some elegant restaurant. She dumped a whole what? pitcher of water on Rick's head. <gasps> Lillian they and Rick dated? dated? Mm hmm. I think they oh. started dating once he got onto the show. They'd always That's show up at these Hollywood premieres together. Okay, Mom, I'll be right down. Nancy, I gotta go. Give me a call later if you need some help, okay? Right. Bye. Okay, thank you. That was pretty helpful. Let's get back to the studio. Taxi! Where well, can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. And we wanna get in there. We wanna get shut in there, you know? Can I help you? Here's my pass. Hello, here's my pass. <laughs> Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You may proceed. All right. Close this place down. Oh, wait, let's talk to Rick. I think I went the wrong way. I sure did. I sure did. I don't even think Rick's going to be in there, but... Nope. He's not in there! Ugh. Okay. Let's talk to Maddie. It's open! Let me get something. Have you found here. anything out yet? Did Lily and Rick... Date after you broke up? Did Lillian and oh. Rick date after you both broke up? Yeah, Rick had been after Lillian for a while, pretty much to meet her film friends from out west. I warned her about Rick, but she didn't listen. Now she bears a grudge against me. Oh gosh. Oh. Do you think this could have pushed Lillian to send him these threats? Maybe. I no never way. Thought about that. Lillian's too smart for that. I think she just wants to make people feel miserable for her loss. It's just her personality. <laughs> That's true. We've got a good taste of that. <laughs> Rick's pretty good at loving and leaving them. What a loser. Rick's not like that. At least he wasn't with me. Everyone oh. has this idea that he dumped me, but it wasn't at all like that. He had a lot of trouble dealing with the pressures of his career and a relationship at the same time. We saw it happening and agreed to split up. Rick's a wonderful guy. I have no regrets. Well, I'll see you later, Maddie. Bye, Nancy. Get out. <laughs> well, I really don't know what to say here. I can understand that by their notes and their photos. There was a real solid love there, but it just sounds It's fishy. you again. What do you want? Can I ask your advice on something? <laughs> Rick's really been flirty with me. Should I take him seriously? <laughs> I think Rick's completely out of your league, but he'll flirt with any skirt. Uh, mm. Well, if you were good enough for him, then why shouldn't I be? <laughs> well, if you were good enough for him, then why shouldn't I be? Listen, you don't know a thing about Rick and me. He used me to meet my friends from L.A. to try and schmooze his way into films. All along, I thought he really loved me. He just walked all over me. <laughs> Gee, I'm sorry. I didn't realize he did that. Yeah, well, that's ancient history. Just like it is between Rick and your friend Maddie. Uh, what? What do you mean, <laughs> between Rick and Maddie? Yeah. Oh, come on, everyone knows how Rick dumped Maddie. Rick gave her some bogus story about needing his space to concentrate on his career. Yeah, he had to concentrate on ditching Maddie to date me. You know, I don't think Maddie ever got over it to tell you the truth. What? 
Well, I don't I'll know let if you I get back her. to your business. Gee, thanks. Goodbye. I think she's just being kind of a dink. Oh, <gasps> yay! It's late. Okay, here we go, guys. Finally, we can get in the prop room and find the code to this freaking door. I'm wondering if it's in one of these sets of numbers here. There's like sets of five. Sixteen, no. I think it only went to ten. Or maybe more. Shoot. Huh. I don't know if that would be the answer we're looking for. Would we find the code? We need the code. There's nothing around here. Well, maybe just maybe. I guess we really couldn't use like bolt cutters or something. She'd probably be pretty upset. <laughs> I would be if I was the prop master. 37. 37 5. That could be part of the number. 37 5. Because it's stay tuned for danger. Huh, I don't know. Is there any other numbers? around here. Hmm. Four, four, no. Her interactive skateboard? Sick. I actually didn't notice that before. Uh, huh. I just want to find this dang code. I don't think we're gonna find it in here though. Something tells me that this might not be the place. Four. Oh, and there's another number. Four. Four. Wait. Five. It's five o'clock. No, still four. Okay, let's throw the number four in there too, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm at my wits end here a little bit. <laughs> oh, this is new. This chicken thing. Oh, a map. When gates are locked and paths are blocked, then look for the ways. Look for the ways. Look for other ways in what? Look for other ways. J something here where where 
I can't even read that. Oh my god, can we turn it around? No? Perplexing days. Yes. Okay, I gotta like flip upside down just to read this here. Look for other ways. Answer. Oh, the answer lies. The answer lies here. The answer lies here at here at. Lies here at oh, lies. <laughs> right here so of course I've forgotten what this word is oh the oh so that's an H okay here at Thai Thai Something eyes to this perplexing gaze. Turn, turn, turn your, oh, at your eyes, at your eyes to this perplexing gaze. What is it saying, I guess? Look. When gates are... Okay. Turn your eyes to this perplexing gaze. Well, that was new, and maybe that's the answer to... to this perplexing gaze. Oh, where's she looking? Oh, of course. There's gotta be something. Perplexing gaze. He's looking somewhere. And it keeps showing us people and things that are looking somewhere. Mr. Skull, and he's looking down. Is the answer in the back? <laughs> I don't think so. But it seems like everything with eyes is looking that way. They're all... Look at she's looking that way. The chicken's looking this way. West, but it's pointing like that way. And then this chick's looking down right here. <gasps> it's 
got to be in this area. Well, there's a key there, but it ain't that kind of key. Maybe the answer's in here. No, these are just the pictures. I mean, you would think, right? We can't get in the helmet. And we can't get in this box, which is real interesting, too. Is it in this vase? <laughs> like, I just... I just don't understand. Okay, forget it. Forget it. We're gonna have to just, uh... Take a moment, you know? Walk away from it and... See if something else comes to us. Hmm. The gaze. Right? I mean, <laughs> the voyage of Millie Strathorn. ways. The answer lies here at your Your eyes to uh, uh eyes to this perplexing looks like it says gauze though G U A Z E am I looking for gauze perplexing <gasps> what was that pliers. Oh, are we going to break into the... Of course, the moment we run out of time. I barely saw that. Can we break in? No. Oh, whatever. Well, it's now 8 o'clock, so... Let's check some other places. I mean, I'm almost certain Rick Arlen is in here. Well, if Maddie's still here... It's open! Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe Rick's here, finally. Oh, I am confusion. Very much confusion. I need something to make this work. Of course you do. And you've got it. All right, let's try this thing again, because I'm... Okay. Ugh. I'm getting real frustrated today. time I swear okay well I guess we'll just have to come back in the morning I just don't understand I really don't understand hey taxi where's Ooh. your lady oh, 7226 Lexington <laughs> Avenue please on my way on my way okay we do actually have to end the episode because we're out of time and I have somewhere to be, but I just need to know. Okay. I need to know what is going on here.
dog. So day. Taxi! Where can I take you today? Where yes. can I take you today, man? <laughs> Like, Rick Arlen's never in his office. Can I help you? Or his dressing room, I mean. Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You may proceed. Yeah, yeah. There's no answers with Millie. You think maybe something will be hidden or in her painting. I can't believe we got the ply. Like, we... Ugh. Hello? Oh, my lanto. It's open. He's never there. Have you found anything <laughs> out yet? No, not yet. Nope. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. Okay, one last sweep here. Let's see if anyone will talk to us. It's you oh. again. What do you want? Oh, I'm sorry for bothering you. <sighs> I'll leave right away. You do that. You do that. Rude. It's open! And Millie. Hello, young Nothing lady. I should get back to the set. Goodbye. Have a good day. Still curious, though. All those things were pointing at something. Like, they were all facing something. I need something to make this work. <laughs> I love how she says that as she's making it work. Like, there's nothing here. But we have to look there. Nothing here, but we have to look here. Nothing here. Nothing over there. We've been there multiple times. No! Uh... Oh. Of course. Uh... And over here, which is really peculiar, I don't, I'm, I'm not understanding why we need to look over there. <sighs> it, this is very peculiar and pretty irritating, I must say. Getting very irritating. And then over here, well, we did get the screwdriver. And why did we take these pliers if there's pliers here? Huh. Okay. That was weird. Very, very weird, actually. <gasps> did this go red for a moment? No. I thought it did. Gosh darn it. absolutely nothing over here. No. I'm perplexed, folks. I am perplexed. Yes, I am. Got pliers. Got a screwdriver. And friggin' Rick Arlen is still not in his room. <laughs> Girl. Let's Taxi. go see Dwayne again. Yeah, what's the address? 318 West yeah, 10th what's Street, the address? please. You got it. One last time. I mean, I, I don't... I have... Can we break it? With it's locked. What if we... It's locked. Yeah, yeah. It's locked. All right. Okay. Fine. Out of here. Wait. Oh, that brick out of place. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! 7226, 7226. Okay, this is the last time we will also call everyone. <sighs> Let's call Dwayne first. Actually, we're just going to call Dwayne, and then I'm going to end the episode. I'm very stuck. Powers Agency, Extremely. how may I help you? Hi, Mr. Powers. It's Nancy Drew. Yes, Miss Drew. What can I do for you? Nothing. Well, I should get back to the set. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for your help. Thank you for checking in with me. I'd like to know how things are working out at Worldwide. 
Whatever. <laughs> okay, and there's nothing else. Nothing else. Like, it's just... Oh, wait a minute! Miss Nancy Drew! Oh, I'm finally a lead! Oh my goodness! Nancy, I hope you're enjoying your trip to New York. I thought you might find this tape of interest to your case. It's a TV interview with Rick Arlen on a soap opera news show. You know, for a young lad, he's quite fetching. Take care and be careful, Nancy. Love, Hannah. Oh, how would we be able to see that box? You turn and it's gone. Wow. Huh. They were very uh, specific back in the day. We're here Drew. on the set oh. at Worldwide Broadcasting Studios with soap heartthrob Rick Allen. The studios are a buzz with talk <laughs> that you may be heading for a career in films. Will Rory Danner be killed off the show? Well, Rory is a character who the is dear to my heart. I never put him in a life-threatening situation. I'll leave that to the writers. Well, how could anyone in their right mind leave such a gorgeous co-star, Maddie Jensen? Is it true <laughs> that your on-stage love affair has led to an off-stage romance? Only my hairdresser knows for sure. Weren't you seen with that actress Greta Von Kamloops at Cannes earlier this year? Any chance you may be starring in a film with her in the near future? <laughs> oh, no, not while I'm with I'm the WWB Network. Our sources say that you've been a victim of a stalker, is that true? Well, yes, in a sense. I feel like I'm being watched at every moment, and always at the same time. Weekdays from 2 to 3 on Channel oh, 13. Oh, whatever. Oh, Rick. Yeah. What I need something to make this work. Can I turn it on? Oh, I was going to say, can I? I wondered if maybe I could just walk. All right, well then let's go back now. Maybe that was what needed Taxi. to activate. Taxi! Where can I take you today, Talking Miss? Talking to Rick 1999 again. Broadway, please. Well, once again, I am on a crunch for time, but we're gonna carry on here because... Can I help I you? I think we're onto something now. I think we Hello. activated Here's another series of... Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank Hi. you. You may proceed. Oh, thank you so very much. That's so kind. Okay, watch Rick Ireland be in his room now. Surprise! Hello? Oh, the door's open. Hello? <gasps> uh, hello? Oh, die, Rick! <gasps> oh! Oh, no. Play me. Oh! Drew Quarter. Oh, whatever. Hello, Rick. Don't try to run. The door's running. Don't you get my first one? Oh! Somewhere in this room is an explosive device that will blow your body and smithereens. Maybe? Oh! There's a, a, an explosive device, I think it said, in this room. Oh my god, where is it? Oh my lanta. There is an explosive device in this room. Is it in the couch? Oh my god. Where is it? Oh. oh it keeps making we're playing the music. Oh Where is the explosive device? Is it in the tape recorder itself? Oh jeez, it is. Somewhere in this room. I don't like that. Oh, 30 seconds. Oh. Oh. Uh, which wire do I cut? Blue. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> okay, okay, so we're gonna play this. Hello, again. Don't try to run. The don't door's try not, not to run. Don't try or don't, don't run. Get Didn't you get my first warning? Somewhere in this room is an explosive device that'll blow your body to smithereens. Maybe. Too bad the people out there will be. Ew. 
Oh, I, I don't like distorted voices like that. They're just so cringy to me. I think it's the red wire. In the movies, isn't it the red? It's not an option. Oh! <laughs> no. Oh. Hello? Okay, okay. just gotta do this. Can I just get up here? Okay, good. I don't even want I don't wanna have to listen to that again. <sighs> At least we know we have enough time. Oh, okay. So we've tried the blue. Have we tried the orange? We've tried the yellow. The red doesn't have Okay, let's try the orange. Oh, it's a process. Oh, God. Okay, so it's yellow first. <laughs> yellow. Okay, well, now we know. Yellow. I wish you'd just start in the Hello? room. Hello? Second chance. Ah! <laughs> this is so scary. I, I don't think this is the right screwdriver. I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> this <laughs> screwdriver is a flathead. Okay. <sighs> okay, yellow. Oh! What the heck? It was, it was yellow, wasn't it? I guess it Hello? clicked the red. This is very confusing. Where you're clicking. Oh god, okay. Oh god, okay. Yellow. What? <laughs> what the hell? Yellow was first! Hello? What gives? Hello? I can't get over her hello as the door opens. Oh, okay. Okay. Yellow was definitely first. So what is this? Like, is that yellow? Because it's over yellow. Let's just start from the left. That's blue. I guess that's orange. And that's yellow, or that's red, and that's yellow. Okay, orange next. No! <laughs> Hello? Okay, let's try, uh, let's try orange. Orange and then, or yellow, orange. Oh my gosh, okay. So yellow, let's try blue. Oh, okay, so it's yellow, red, yellow, red. Uh-huh, okay. Yellow, red. Hello? It's yellow, red. <laughs> Why can't, okay. Oh. Nerve wracking, very nerve wracking. Okay, okay, let's just do this. Yellow, red. Blue. Oh, yellow, red, orange, blue. Yellow, red, orange, blue. Ha! Okay, now we know. <gasps> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay. It's like the door top when it opened. <laughs> okay. Orange, red, yellow, blue. Orange, wait. Yellow, red, orange, blue. Yellow, red, orange, blue. Yellow, red, orange, blue. Oh. It was pretty scary for a minute there. And then what happened? Yeah, we got Once blown I up at six times. And got but out after of that, <laughs> I called the police, and I was stuck at the station for hours. They searched the dressing room and sent the bomb off to the crime lab, but they didn't Jeez. find anything. Oh, and remind me to thank nuts. Chief McGinnis when I get back home. He vouched for me Aww. when I asked for a copy of the tape. It sounds like things have gotten way out of control. Oh, Ned, I've got another call. It's probably the police. I love you, and I promise I'll be careful. Call you later, okay? Okay. Hello, Miss Drew. This is Bill Pappas, oh, the producer God. for Light of Our Love. I just wanted to thank you for your quick thinking and valiant efforts today. I understand that you've been detained at the police department. Yes, I was. 
Thank you, Mr. Pappas, but it was nothing, really. Well, yeah. I believe you're very brave for what you've done. I can't help but wonder, though, what you were doing in Rick's room. I found that it was open and let myself in. Nancy, can I call you Nancy? I hate to be blunt about this, but we can't allow anyone to just walk into people's dressing rooms. Perhaps we can meet to discuss this in person. Well, uh, no, perhaps you should enforce perhaps better security. Perhaps you should security, enforce then. better security, then. That's right. What? Hey. Ever since Rick started getting threats, we've taken every measure to ensure his safety. We've even hired more security after that accident in the studio. Oh, okay. Can you answer some questions I have? Uh, no. Oh. I'm very busy at the moment. Uh, Seeing no. Seeing what you did today, <laughs> I guess I owe you one. What do you need to know? One? Uh, electronics, do you believe someone from outside the studio? It does. Is your video surveillance in the dressing room? Who besides Rick would have keys to his dressing rooms or any of people? Who takes care of the helicopter or does the studio? Okay, I hope he lets Can me answer think all of, of these. Can you anyone on the staff who has skills in explosives or electronics? We definitely do not use explosives on our set. We use outside pyrotechnicians for location shoots. Okay, good. <laughs> There's another and question. And of course, all of our technical crew are very knowledgeable about electronics. But I couldn't picture any of them making a bomb. Are there many temporary employees working at the studio? Yes, but all of our employees, either temps or permanent, are highly qualified and come mm. from the best agencies. Okay. We don't hire just anyone, and we carefully screen our employees. Do you believe someone from outside the studio could have done this? That's impossible. This set has been closed down tight since that accident. Oh. I even hired extra security. My own mother couldn't have gotten in here. <laughs> Is there video surveillance of the dressing room? Uh, we're currently working with the police on that. Oh. But there are no security cameras in the dressing rooms. Understandable, Who, though. besides Rick? would have keys to his dressing room. Only Rick and the security personnel. We've already checked into this. Rick is very touchy about his room and won't even let the janitors clean it unless he's there. Oh, wow, okay. That's odd. Yeah. Has he always been this way? Yes, Rick's very controlling like that. Huh. It took us weeks to renegotiate his contract. He had all of these detailed demands, like about lighting, script direction, the placement of his name in the credits. The heck? He's unbearable at times. Listen, I need to get back to work. Oh, yes. Do you need um, anything else? There's a few questions. Are there <laughs> many people who have access to the studio Might as well at take night? advantage Only of this key time here. Some of the floor managers have access. Okay. And of course, myself and Lillian. But we've often got projects going on around the clock. Post-production work and set design, to name a few. Interesting. We've never run into these people. Can I have a list of everyone who's been in the studio at night? Yes. That's confidential. Ow. <laughs> Do you have surveillance video of the hallways, perhaps? Yes. We're looking into that. Ha. Listen, we run a studio down here, not a prison. Sometimes staffers borrow the security videos when they run out. We've addressed this problem before, and I can guarantee it won't happen again. <laughs> Hold on a second. No, tell him I'll call him. Don't put him on hold. I'll call him. <laughs> what else do you need, Nancy? Um, Who takes care of the teleprompter? Well, in theory, it's the lead scriptwriter's job to manage that part of production. Uh, but a lot of actors, especially Maddie, like to edit their script to add emphasis or direction. Hmm. Anyone has access? Is Miss Strathorn the lead scriptwriter? No, not at all. She's always submitting scripts and story ideas to our writers, but they never go anywhere. Does uh, the studio have any audio mixing equipment? Of course we do. We have a whole department set up for audio recording. We also have some mixers in the control room. Interesting, for the recording, uh-huh. Do you think I can see them sometime? We're very busy with production right now, and we're no longer conducting tours. Damn. If you, oh, hold on. Tours. <laughs> no, get someone else for that. We need to have someone on standby if he decides to leave. Sorry about that, Nancy. Any other questions? Who else <laughs> has access to the staff offices? The usual people. Janitors, some assistants, Millie, security. Now, is there anything else you need Millie. to ask me? Millie, Millie keeps coming up. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Well, thank you for your help in this matter, Mr. Pappas. Goodbye. Yes, well, thanks again for your brave efforts today. Goodbye. Interesting. Okay, well, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm glad we finally got past all that. <laughs> um, yeah, wow, that's a lot to process. We got a lot of questions answered, though. We definitely need to get back in that studio. I'm getting very anxious about getting in that studio. So next time. <laughs> We've already over overdone it here with this episode. Big time. But I mean, gosh, we haven't had our Nancy fix in so long. I know it's episode two, but 
it is tempting to just carry on. Actually, no, I was mentioning I have somewhere to be. Oh, and I have given myself not enough time to get ready for that. <laughs> what else is new? If it wasn't this, it would be something else. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in and sharing uh, some time out of your day with me to get in deep and get sleuthy with me. You guys are awesome, Clue Crew. I love you, each and every one. And uh, yeah, thanks for just for sharing the deep love and admiration for all things Nancy Drew. That's why we're here, right? Um, yeah, next episode will be very interesting. I think it's starting to heat up now. I mean, we've already had a lamp fall, a bomb threat. How do you top that? I don't think I want to know, but chances are we will find out. And now I'm a little sus of Millie, too. Millie's got a lot of access. Hmm. Well, we will see you next time. Toodles for now. Ta-ta! Ciao. Till then. Howdy, folks. Did you like that video? Well, then why don't you go ahead and give that thumbs up a smackaroo. Don't want to miss out on the next episode? Give the subscribe button some love and make sure to turn your notifications on. That way I can give you a bell a ring, let you know when it is served. Still need more to chew on? Take a bite of my new YouTube Instagram account at TravyJ Space to keep up to date with the channel's inner workings and news of upcoming projects and episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.